안녕하세요. 저는 로키입니다. Or should I say, 건니치와 복구와 로키 도모시마스. And welcome to today's video where we're going to be reacting to some more Red Velvet. Now today, RV, and it is still today actually. Today, RV have dropped uh, their MV for their new Japanese release titled Wild Side. And I'm extremely excited because I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. I've heard great things about it already. It's literally been such a short period of time that has elapsed since it's been released it's got two and a half million views already which means it's fucking popped um but also on top of that man red velvet is just absolutely killing me lately feel my rhythm is literally at the top of my playlist right now uh dude beg for me oh my god dude this is easily one of my favorite b-sides that i've heard from red velvet period and also that i've heard uh this year so far i absolutely adore that b-side so red velvet uh, i could pretty safely say is dominating me right now uh, and I'm very excited to see what their Japanese title is going to be like. Now, I have not watched any of the teasers. I haven't kept up with uh, anything. I just knew that it was going to be releasing at 12 a.m. JST today. But unfortunately, uh, I was watching something else and then KO'd straight after. Now, if you guys would like to go and catch some more Red Velvet content, including the album Listen for Feel My Rhythm, and also some Level Up Project, then we do have that over on Patreon. Level Up Project is fucking massive. So I literally am just taking my sweet ass time to get through that. However, Red Velvet are always going to be over there so of course if you guys would like to go and catch some of that do definitely go and check it out um but yeah i've got a video essay channel titled it's lock as well i'll leave that down in the description below i'm thinking about doing a review of the film my rhythm album just in general because i really 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 enjoyed it and of course have thoughts on it uh, but if you guys would like to go and catch that or queendom essays or anything like that the live reviews with that then uh do definitely go and check that out as well but anyway enough chat from me we have got wild side let's get straight into it let's give it a massive old like full screen three two one let's fucking go if this is gonna be some elegant shit, I might die. Oh my god. Ooh, are we rubbing? Are we rubbing shit? Is this like a cat 2.0? Woo! Ah, shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Irene, what if I die? Then what? Who's gonna. Oh, Joy! I'm listening. Oh, the curl in her hair. Holy fuck, I love this. Uh, uh. Dude, Yeti looks beautiful. Wendy's fucking killing me lately. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. This has got way more energy than I assumed. Oh, Yeti. Oh, my God. Ah. What? Holy fuck. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Post chorus? Oh my god, Joy! Yo! Yo! Wendy! Why? Why am I falling for you like this? Irene, I wanna be loyal! Ah oh shit, we got a German Shepherd, you know shit's up. Ah, oh, the vocals are insane! Oh, it's sexy, it's mature, it hits. It's elegant too. Mm. Ah. Ah, ah. Dude, the choreo though. Shit. We chanting this. Da, da. Don't tell me we're going for the SM breakdown. God, you are so beautiful. Ooh. Ooh, 
슬기 아 That little <laughs> Fuck, dude, this goes so hard. Hey, Takaku, Takaku. Ah, ah. Hey, hey. Ah. Da, 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 da. Dude, this is brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. Dude, from start to finish. Oh, this was with Avex. Yo, from start to finish. That was energy. Like, start to finish. Energy. Just, oh my god, dude, I'm sweating. That was crazy. That was crazy. First off, let me set it in categories. Visually, they looked incredible. Visually, they looked absolutely fucking incredible. That looked amazing. They looked so good in this. Also, Wendy, why? <laughs> why is it just now? I've always, look, I've always thought of Wendy like this. I've always thought of Wendy as like, she is fucking hilarious, right? I mean, this is just my personal view, right? She's always hilarious. She's such a clown. She's super soft, mega wise, absolute sweetheart. But she's never like, she's never been my bias, ever. Never been my bias. She's always been a contender. Never been my bias though. However, right now, why is it that this entire era... I'm getting served with a completely different type of emotion where she's actually just punching me in the face. It's like she is ramming. It's like Wendy is being rammed down my fucking throat, bro. It's crazy. I have no idea what's happening as far as that is concerned, but it is literally like she's being rammed down my throat. It's insane. On top of that, dude, Joy, oh, please. I just cannot continue I cannot continue with how good she is at acting, how she looks. Also, Yeti. Huh. What? Yeti looks insane. Irene kills absolute slayage. Also, Sergi. Who the fuck is she, man? Seriously. Did Red Velvet... This is what it means, honestly. This is what it means to be OP. This is what it means to be OP. When people say OP, this is what they mean. Like, they, like this is overpowered. This is way too overpowered. Now, musically, the song is insane. I thought we were getting an elegant bop that it was going to be um, elegant, maybe sexy. No. The moment this song drops, it's just BAM! Sensory overload. Absolutely fucking mania. It's crazy you're hit with so many different things at once i'll need to obviously listen to it again to even be able to tell you remotely from a potato's perspective and when i say potato i am not musically inclined at all i know fucking nothing however i know that there is so many layers to this shit and the way it hits you is just like a wave it's like a fucking tidal wave that just goes and it just absolutely goes insane uh dude i love how throughout that entire chorus the energy does not once drop off. And then in the post-chorus, they just, they don't even wind down. How can I put it? Like, okay, like, I feel like sometimes you have songs, right? You have songs where they build up. So, of course, you have the, you have the, the intro, you have the start, you have verse one, and then you build through the pre-chorus, you climax at the chorus, and then you go back down. Right? I feel like you're constantly building up and then you, you, you peak, you plateau and then you drop back down, right? You dip. I have no idea. I just blocked my mic. I'm sorry. You dip almost. This is just how I perceive it, right? People may perceive this or completely disagree. Whatever. I don't really care. The thing is, is that with this, it seems like the energy that they had built and sustained throughout the chorus, instead of actually dropping it down, if you think about it as going straight forward, instead it just turned left or right. It didn't actually dip. 
it didn't actually decline. The energy did not decrease. They literally just morphed it into something else. It's like they literally took the energy of that chorus and they put it then into the second verse. It just sounded different. And we started going with like that trap and that rap type vibe that we really went into in the, in the, in the second verse. And I loved how they did that because I feel like after the first chorus, I feel like I didn't take a breath until the end of the entire song. Seriously, like I feel like we did not get a single breath. It was like it, we built so beautifully, but then after that, it was just bam, 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 all the way. It was machine gun energy all the way until we got to the very end of the song. And that absolutely fucked me up. Dude, that was insane. That was crazy. Way better than I ever expected. And this is the thing. Whenever you get to something even just a little bit late, you know, of course, a lot of people, a lot of people always talk about like, uh, you know, oh my God, this is so hype, this is so awesome. And naturally you, 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 you form expectations about it. This 100% lived up. That was crazy. For a JP title, this is insane. I can't wait for the album. I'm definitely going to be listening to it. So you guys can go and catch that on Patreon. But fuck, let me know what you guys thought. I, I think I already know what the resounding, uh, the resounding reception is going to be of this one. Uh, but I'm very excited to hear what you guys think and, and obviously see what you guys have to say down in the comments below as well. So please do let me know. But uh, I really just want to say thank you so much, of course, for tuning in for those of you guys that did. Um, I really enjoyed this and obviously being able to enjoy it with you guys as well is uh, really awesome too. And, and like Dwagon said literally just before as well, um, since Queendom, and I did say this in my film, uh, feel, um, feel, oh my God, feel my rhythm. There we go. Thank you, English. In the feel my rhythm reaction that I did, um, I really feel like Queendom was a very different Red Velvet, right? It was a very, very, very different Red Velvet. And um, I liked the title. I enjoyed it. But it was it, it kind of fell off a little bit after a while for me. But, you know, Feel My Rhythm era, it definitely feels like Red Velvet is stepping into a new type of sound. That they're becoming even more experimental. They're becoming even more wild. And perhaps that they're showing their wild side now. Uh, and they're really kind of starting to continue to push even their own envelope. Not necessarily just K-Pops, but pushing their own envelope and I really 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 like that so uh, that's the last thought that I'll leave you guys with but look thank you so much for tuning in I love and appreciate you all do def definitely let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys thought of this one but uh, until next time thank you so much of course for watching and I will see you guys in the next one stay safe stay healthy stay happy all that jazz and I'll see you guys very soon cheers